Time to have a little fun with the voice of the Florida Gulf Coast University Eagles. First, this hour brought to you by Rush Hour Carding. Member race is only $11 from noon to 5 on weekdays. Visit RushHourCarding.com. To the Allen Kelly and Company train hotline, Florida Gulf Coast has been the toast of the NCAA tournament. But those of us here in the Raleigh area are familiar with Florida Gulf Coast. We saw the Eagles at Cameron Indoor Stadium, were it not for that pesky little 30 to nothing run, uh, play Duke very tough. In fact, had a lead late in the first half. Tom James was the play-by-play man for that game and will host a show tonight, I maybe, in, uh, in Dallas or North Texas, as they say. Uh, what, Dunk City, because uh, Tom James is with the Eagles at the South Regional. Phenomenal, phenomenal story. Uh, Tom, you saw this coming all along, didn't you? Absolutely. Uh, I saw this coming from uh, the minute they tipped off for their first season 12 years ago. Are you kidding me? I had, t- <laughs> I had it timed out just perfectly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we have officially arrived in uh, Dunk City West. The Giant Killers are uh, alive and well in Dallas, Texas. All right. Uh, it's, the basketball program began 12 years ago, but it only became a Division One program six years ago. How did this group come together because there's there's more than just one or two good players in this team yeah there's a ton of players they go nine to ten deep but really in, as far as the division one part of this uh, story goes they were only postseason eligible at the division one level starting last year right. which was the first year of the brand new coach andy enfield and uh boy you talk about delivering results uh in a short period of time i think he's done it why well, yes i I think you're right. (laughs) We can certainly ask Georgetown uh, and San Diego State all about it. Uh, But these guys showed that they were capable earlier this season. Uh, The win over Miami, which was on their own floor. Take that 30 nothing run that Duke put together on Florida Gulf Coast. They played them competitively up until that point, though. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, they were up like 30 to 29, I believe, uh, maybe. 14 or 15 minutes into the first half up there at uh, Cameron Indoor, and all of a sudden a 30 to nothing. I've never heard of a 30 to nothing run before, uh, and it stretched uh, 23. And that was in the end of the first half, and another seven at the start of the second half, and uh, that pretty well put it put the game away because uh, your guy Ryan Kelly was uh, uh, unstoppable as he has been a number of times this season. But uh, up until that point, uh, FGCU uh, certainly played pretty well and pretty competitively with those guys. Explain. Where this team, I mean, they play with a confidence. I was going to use the term swagger, and I guess I will. Where does this come from? Let me tell you, something happened in Philadelphia. This team, it's almost like drilling for oil. This team has, uh, you know, they've had a steady stream of oil coming through throughout the year, throughout the year, and all of a sudden, last Friday night, they hit a gusher. I think at, at some point, whether it was one of the two alley oops, they looked at each other and just decided, you know what? We are so much better than even we thought we were, and it all just went crazy from there. And uh, I mean, yeah, they're they're fun. Yeah, they're carefree. Uh, they certainly play a style. I mean, Andy Enfield has employed this uh, this fun and gun style down here that uh, that that has attracted a lot of these guys uh, to come play for him. Um, and uh, certainly the talent level is here, and they enjoy doing it. When they get rolling, well, you've seen what, what can happen. Yep. You guys surprised by the uh, little pushback you got for the pep rally after, the, uh, after getting to the Sweet 16? <laughs> it's funny. When you, when you all of a sudden get a microscope on you for the first time ever, you're t- totally not used to this kind of attention. Stuff like that is obviously it's going to happen. The student body got a little excitable. You can understand, uh, you know, they used a four-letter F word that was not FGCU. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that has uh, stirred the Gator Nation up a little bit who have been holed up in a hotel somewhere out here in Dallas, totally flying under the radar. And uh, I'm sure that will try to use that to motivate them. But, yeah, it doesn't surprise me not too much. It's just, uh, you know, that kind of thing is going to happen in a situation like this. 
We're talking with Tom James, who is uh, one of the voices of Florida Gulf Coast University. He'll be hosting a show, Dunk City. Uh, now, is this show wrapping up the season, or are you going to do this show prior to the Sweet 16 game? No, what this is is a documentary. I mean, this is oh, a really? documentary, yes, that's going to be called Dunk City. We are FGCU. And uh, uh, it'll it, once the final chapter is written, whether that be tonight, uh, Sunday night, <laughs> if, we, if we can dream, certainly possibly in Atlanta, whenever that final chapter is written, we're going we're gonna to debut this, uh, this documentary that we're working on throughout this run through March Madness. So we're really, really excited about it. And uh, so is the entire Eagle Nation. All right, talk, it, well, we have, an, we have an Eagle Nation? We do now. <laughs> now you do. You know, we, 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 had an, we had a little Eagle town that was a sleepy little place, yeah. and now all of a sudden uh, it's, uh, you know, Florida Gulf Coast uh, of America University. So. All right, give me, give me a, uh, an idea of what uh, the campus is like. Uh, is there a big campus? Do they, you know, what kind of student body uh, lives there? Is it a commuter? Probably a commuter school is my guess. Uh, but give me an idea of what camp the campus is like during this run. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, you know, about 13,000 in terms of uh, uh, enrollment at FGCU. Got a beautiful beach on a lake yeah. on mm-hmm. campus. In fact, uh, y- your guy Chase Feeler, who's throwing down all the alleys, Jeez. Uh, his dorm room, you, 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 it's out there somewhere on Twitter, his dorm room view from the balcony literally looks down on the beach so, so he, he wakes up to that every single day so this guy's life who who grew up in parkersburg west virginia all of a sudden he he's a youtube phenom he wakes up to look at a beach on campus every day so yeah lives have changed <laughs> no question about it but uh it's a beautiful campus it's uh you know it's out just to the south of fort myers and uh, they have a beautiful 4,500-seat arena, a Lico arena. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, uh, it's going to be full forever now, I think. Well, have you guys stocked the bookstore yet? Because I know online you were sold out of beer koozies last time I checked. <laughs> Those are obviously the first things to go. Why right? not? That so, it sounds like a very Florida Gulf Coast kind of thing, kind of vibe, especially with the whole beach lake. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, they've run out stocked, restocked over and over again, probably three times a day for the last nine days <laughs> at the FGCU bookstore. Here, I'll give you a number. In March of 2012, the uh, bookstore sales total revenue for that month, $21,000. For March of 2013, and we're not even done yet, $149,000. Wow. That's the bookstore. <laughs> Store revenue, 21K to 149K. So that something is, seems like something happened. I don't know what it was. 700% more, wow. <laughs> uh, rise in revenue. That, that is awesome. All right, we got to get we, we, somebody got to send us stuff. All right, well, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll just call them in order. I guess we're going to have to do that. We got to get Florida Gulf Coast University yeah. swag up here. All right, uh, yeah. it, it helps or hurts that it's Florida in front of you. I think it probably, uh, I think it can only help because it gets the rest of the state uh, to pay even closer attention to FGCU. I don't don't care if they lose by 50 tonight. Uh, You know, they could be playing Michigan State, and uh, that'd be great, and everybody would know about it. But the fact that, here here I go with the nation uh, line again, but the fact that Gator Nation uh, has to play FGCU, and uh, Gator Nation, by by the way, you might not believe this. They have a chip on their shoulder against FGCU already. Uh, the Eagle baseball team went up to Gainesville last month and swept the Gators. Mm. So, uh, in, in a way, they're looking for <laughs> yeah, they're looking for four in a row uh, if we cross sports here. But uh, but I think the attention is uh, is all over the place. Good luck with that, Tom James, one of the voices of Florida Gulf Coast University. Thank you very much. Good luck. We'll see you in Atlanta. How's that? You got hey hey we're we're planning on it we've already made uh, we've already made the reservation so if they go down the dance loses the bell of the ball nobody wants that now you're right you're right so we hope the clock does not strike twelve for you thank you very much Tom it's been a pleasure you guys join Chris Morris Monday from noon to two Max.